In this tutorial, you will learn how to design Proteus simulation of Boost Converter. As you know that, Boost Converter is a power electronics converter, it converts low voltage into high voltage. The Boost or Step Up Converter is a configuration that converts a voltage output, which is above the input voltage. In other words, Boost Convert boosts the input voltage to a high voltage. This is a circuit diagram of Boost Converter. It consists of an inductor, diode, capacitor and a switching device. You can refer to any power electronics textbook for its working. With the shown component values, the converter works by ensuring a continuous current through the inductor, for this reason it's known as continuous mode. By reducing the inductor value, the converter will move in the discontinuous mode. The voltage output can be calculated by this formula, where T is PWM period end. T1 is a off time of PWM. For this example, we will convert 4 volts input into 16 volts output. That means we need 75% duty cycle. If we put ton equal to 20 microseconds and T1 equal to 15 microseconds in this formula, output voltage will be about 16 volts. In other words, if we provide 75% duty cycle to Moose Fat, output voltage will be about 16 volts. We use Moose Fat as a switching device. To provide pulse width modulation signal to Moose Fat, we used a PWM generator signal of Proteus. Now place all components in Proteus window and make connection according to the circuit diagram. Now open PWM signal and make setting according to these values. After that connect output voltage probe and output current probe. Now add analog graphs to check waveforms of output current and voltage. In order to check output voltage waveform, right click on graph and make starting and end time settings. After that simulate the graph. As you can see from the graph, output voltage first shoots up, and after some time settles to 16 volts output. Not that, while designing boost converter practically, we can remove the starting output voltage fluctuations by using a PID controller. After that, follow the same procedure to see output current waveform. As you can see, output current is continuous. This is how we can simulate boost converter in Proteus.